you had in Northern Ireland was a situation that's absolutely classic to conflict situations. I've seen it throughout my work at the United Nations. When you have a conflict, the leaders of the conflict on both sides are mostly men. That's absolutely standard. Uh, the, the men are out there engaging in the conflict on the streets. Uh, the women are keeping hearth and home together. So when it comes to uh, peacemaking and peace building, typically what happens is those who were the leaders of the conflict are the ones who assemble around the table and make the terms of the peace. And because the women haven't been out on the streets, they're not at the peace table. So the, um, the conflicts are fought largely without them and the peace is built without them. So the uh, women's coalition in Northern Ireland was determined uh, to put a stop to this cycle. Uh, they were very active in engaging among themselves and they uh, came together and they were part of the Good Friday peace negotiations, played a very effective part there. And uh, in, in quite a, I would say quite a macho environment, they really very purposefully insisted on their voice and their place at the table. And in the intervening years, you have seen women take on much more extensive role in Northern Ireland. In fact, the First Minister in Northern Ireland, uh, Arlene Foster, uh, of course, is now a woman. Uh, but in, at community level, uh, in businesses, and increasingly in politics, you see the women of Northern Ireland more active, and there is enormous credit due to them for their persistence in pushing their way forward.